A well-known Black Lives Matter protester is once again claiming he has been targeted by law enforcement. This time because he was arrested at the scene of yesterday's FBI agent involved shooting. But as News 13's Brittany Bade shows us, deputies say he very clearly broke the law. Well, Kim, we have two different video perspectives of Clifton White's arrest yesterday, one from his wife and the other from the arresting Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy. No, Put your hands behind your back. No, no. For what? For what? For your family with the crime scene. The cuffs go on. Clifton White, about two minutes into Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies, repeatedly telling White and his wife, Celinda Guerrero, to get out of the crime scene. Tied to yesterday's deadly FBI agent involved shooting. What's going on, guys? Lapel video shows White and Guerrero walking towards the yellow crime scene tape and then walk around a tree, finding a gap in the tape. This is as far as you need to go. Well, you don't get to tell me nothing. I'm, don't I'm telling you. Don't you read my rights? Am I arrested or something? No, but this, yeah, is, a a this is a crime scene. This is a crime scene. This is a crime scene. There's no yellow tape there. We knew a black man was murdered by police here today. The FBI has not identified the man killed in yesterday's shooting, but White and Guerrero are well-known Black Lives Matter protesters, helping organize last summer's protests following the murder of George Floyd. There's no jurisdiction. None. This is how they respond to you. At the time, White and Guerrero claimed he was targeted for his role in the protest. But APD and the mayor's office said he was arrested for violating his parole on a number of violent charges, including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, armed robbery, and drug trafficking. At yesterday's scene, we are not a threat to your scene. The couple instantly becomes combative with deputies. Give me your name order. Is White. What are you going to do? Okay. Put Touch me. I'm not. And you already know. So don't give me use, no orders. I'm, I'm trying not, to use my not, words. No, Let's you use our words. To talk to me. Stop talking to me. After several rounds of name calling and repeated refusal to get out of the federal crime scene, Let's Let's back. Back. Somebody Let's back. Back out of the scene. deputies arrested White. What are you going to do? Plant some evidence? No, I'm not. Hey. Both cameras still rolling. White is led to a BCSO cruiser and starts yelling to his wife that he is being choked. He just grabbed him by the throat. But on lapel camera, it's clear to see that simply did not happen. You are grabbed me by my throat? This is your shoulder? You grabbed me by my throat? This is your shoulder? Melinda. Now, deputies say White had high blood pressure and received medical treatment. He is now facing charges, including obstruction and assault on a peace officer. Kim. OK, thank you, Brittany. He was released from jail late last night, ROR, without having to post a bail. Now, following White's parole violation arrest last summer, he did have to serve several months behind bars.